Hi there, this is Rodney from Coins, Currency, and Collectibles here in Tacoa, Georgia. This is December 28th, 2023. And today I want to do a video on maybe the pros and cons or tips between do I buy BU quarters that are silver or do I buy circulated silver uh, quarters that both are 90%. And there's really no wrong answer to that. There's a market for both. But I just want to maybe give you some tips and sh give you a visual difference between a roll of BU quarters and a roll of circulated quarters. Like I said, both rolls will be 90% silver. And so uh, let's get into it. And thanks for watching. And if you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. So here we go. Okay, here we have right here. Uh, the coin on the left, of course, is the BU Washington quarter. The coin on the right is a circulated Washington quarter. Both quarters are 90% silver. For all you young viewers out there and novices, your silver quarters are from 1964 and earlier. So both of these are 90% silver. Both are, are known as constitutional silver. Sometimes people call them junk silver. And they're switchable terms here. But uh, anyway, this is what you see here. Now you can see uh, the one on the left sells for $7 and the one on the right sells for $5. Uh, why the $2 more? Well, for one thing is you have greater eye appeal. Uh, the one on the left is uh, BU, meaning brilliant uncirculated, so it never hit the cash register. It was never handled by thousands of customers and got worn down. Not so with the one on the right. The one on the right has been worn. It's been used for years since 1947. All the people handle it. And don't forget, the coin eventually wears down. And when it wears down, what's coming off the coin is actually silver since 90% of it is silver. So the silver is slowly eroding away on the coin. Um, so which one do I buy? Well, there's no wrong answer to this question right here. Um, there's a budget for everybody. So if you wanna buy you know, the circulated one, you're saving $2 a coin, but what are you giving up for that $2 savings? Well, one thing you're giving up is eye appeal. You have to understand when you sell these coins in the future, um, it's eye appeal. What's gonna attract the buyer to your coin? Don't forget, when you sell this coin, five, 10, 20 years down the road, you're gonna go against hundreds of buyers selling the same thing. So what's gonna make your coin stand out above your competitor? And uh, is it gonna be the price? Is it gonna be the look of the coin? Or is it gonna be a combination of the two? I would say that it's gonna be a combination of the two. I, I myself, uh, I tend to go with the one on the left the brilliant uncirculated ones because as years go by these get harder and harder uh, to find uh, and you know some people are going to lose them they're going to get damaged or they're going to start switching hands a lot they'll get worn down and it's going to be a lot harder in the years to come especially for you young collectors to find the one on the left as opposed to the one on the right um, the other thing I want to show you about these coins is like I said keep in mind I appeal I appeal I appeal the, that brilliant and circular one on the left is going to stand out against its competitors. When it's time for you to sell and they see this BU quarter, it's going to pull away from the pack from the ones on the right. Um, so keep that in mind. The eye appeal is one thing. And don't forget, because it is BU, it has more silver in it. So what I did right here, let me show you. I got... Here's two rolls of silver quarters here in the video. The roll on the left has 40 Washington quarters that are all BU. The rolls, the roll on the right also has 40 uh, quarters in it, but they're circulated ones. You can see the difference between the stacks. The BU one has more silver in it. I've actually counted the quarters on the side and the roll on the left has about four more quarters uh, it looks like it has four more quarters. It measures up to about four quarters more in height over the one on the right, even though they both have 40 coin rolls here. So the circulated is on the right, the uncirculated is on the left. You can see how much more silver you get for the $2 uh, a piece difference in your quarters. 
Now I have looked up these uh, Washington Quarters uh, BU versions on eBay. They go anywhere from eight to twelve dollars a piece on the normal what I see them selling for. And so in this store we sell them for seven dollars with no tax, no shipping, just a flat seven dollars. So to me, I personally like the brilliant uncirculated one. It has the nicer eye appeal. I'm getting more silver for the money. And because it has a nicer eye appeal, it's gonna offer greater liquidity. So if I was you, if you can afford it, I would go uh, with the BU ones. Um, I also save the one on the right too. Like I said, there's no wrong answer to this, but it's just my personal opinion. But I just wanna show you the difference uh, between circulated and uncirculated. So next time, rather than getting upset that maybe one is overpriced, there's a reason why one is more than the other. It's because of the eye appeal is greater, the silver content is greater, and it, I believe it will have greater liquidity in the future. So let me try to get a little bit closer in here. You can see there's about four quarters more. It looks like it has four quarters more, but in all reality, Four, quarter, four quarters more worth of silver, of 90% silver, over the circulated ones on the right. So keep that in mind. And if you have uh, any questions, comments, please feel free to leave them. Uh, my name is Rodney, and if you have any more questions about these coins or other things we have in the in-store, you can always call Bobby right here. We're located in Tacoa, Georgia. Like I said, we're like I said, we're about 95, 100 miles northeast of Atlanta in the upper right-hand corner of the state in Stevens County. Uh, I just want to thank you for watching. Comment, like I said, recommend our video. Subscribe so you don't miss a video. And we would love to have you. Thanks again, and have a nice day.